everybody, Carlos here from the Smart Kitchen Summit. I'm here with Amar Krishna. How's it going? Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of uh, Shuffling. Uh, we launched Shuffling two years ago, um, and we have come a long way since then. Uh, today we are uh, proud to announce Ultra Connect, uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm proud to announce our partnership with yeah. Bosch. Oh, cool. As well. Uh, so uh, we are launching uh, something uh, with the BSH team, uh, especially Bosch, uh, in in association with or supported by the Home Connect. Okay. So uh, we got a lot of support from the Home Connect team uh, in, with the integration. It was easy to do. Uh, we got a lot of uh, good uh, support from the tech side as well. Uh, uh, so you know, being a startup, it's, it's always tough to work with bigger corporations, but they were very helpful. Yeah, that's great. And I really want to point that out that I'm, I'm really thankful to them uh, for doing that to us. And they help your basically AI-based, you know, systems exactly get to a, a, a larger audience. Exactly. So uh, I mean, uh, the 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 kind of tech they have provided and the support they provided, it was helpful for us as a small team to integrate in a very small time, and and make it live. So come by our booth and you'll be able to see some really cool stuff. So I will right after yeah. this. Um, give me some examples of what Ultra Connect can do, like in that kind of smart, you know, kitchen. Exactly. So uh, Ultra Connect uh, is a patent pending uh, trademark. Uh, we are launching today. Uh, it can convert any recipe into machine readable. So you oh. pick any recipe, and we will uh, connect it to your appliances in your house. Uh, That's cool. So uh, let's say uh, uh, you have a tiramisu recipe, and it can connect to three appliances at once, uh, the oven, the coffee maker, and the fridge. So now do the appliances have to be some sort of compliable, or how does that work? Uh, yes, so I mean, uh, it's just like the the, the BSH uh, appliances, right? Uh, uh, you know, it has to be in sync, uh, and we should have access to it, right? right. Uh, and once, so that's just one time thing, you know, once you validate, uh, it's just like uh, when you go to, uh, to Uber or uh, Lyft, uh, you give your credit card information once, right, right, and, right. and then you're good to go. Well, that's a good way to put it. Exactly. Yeah, like here's my recipe. I already know it, and all my appliances know it. Exactly. And it just makes it for me. Exactly. Which is what we were talking earlier. Uh, I actually had Michael on my podcast, and mm -hmm. we were talking about, you know, when is this kitchen just going to be fully automated? Ex I just tell it what I want, and it does it. So, so that's the idea of Shuffling, uh, and this was the last component which was missing. Uh, so we built uh, Shuffling around uh, your cookbook is connected to your shopping list, which is connected to your pantry, which is patent pending as well. So we have a patent for the whole architecture. Okay. So the only piece which was missing was, uh, how do you connect all these things with your appliance hardware now? Right. And now we are launching that, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, uh, and where the ecosystem is going, actually. Uh, and I, again, want to thank uh, the BSH and the Home Connect team uh, for the extra support uh, yeah, it seems like the way for this to work for a lot of different uh, companies and startups is that you've got to have the connectedness and togetherness with other companies. Exactly. Because it's not going to happen on its own. True. Uh, the kitchen is the only space right now where the hardware and the software is coming together. So right. all the big giant appliance companies are going digital, and that can only happen with a, a really good software, mostly AI, because uh, there's a lot of data out there, the unstructured data, and, and, and the main work goes into putting into in structure and making a sense out of it. Right. And, and that's where the companies like us, are small companies, but we are very focused on AI. So that's where we come in picture, where we want to make a sense of that data and make it easier for the users to use it. That's good, because that was my note that I had here prepared, which was the AI part of it. Yeah. I'm fascinated with AI. Um, maybe take us through just a little bit, not proprietary wise, sure. but like how AI actually does some of the stuff that helps. You know, so some of the things we do in our app, and again, come by our booth and I'll be able to give you a live demo yeah. of things, but some of the things we, we are not a recipe company, uh, we are a smart kitchen assistant. That's what we call ourselves, and we are exactly that. So the recipe is just a component we provide on our platform as, as a key component. Right. So the idea is that we suggest your recipes based on what you have. So, right. so everything you see in the cookbook section is based on what you have in your pantry. And that's good because you might not have everything. Exactly. So let's say you pick a recipe randomly. So these are the recipes we suggested based on what you have. Let's say two or three components are missing. So you can order them through our online grocery partners now, uh. Walmart, Amazon, and Peapod. 
I mean, and we'll that be, has everything right there. Exactly, yeah. and we are bringing uh, other partners as well on board. So, okay. so we close that loop. So you pick a recipe, if something is missing, you order them, you get it delivered, you make the recipe. That's great. So that loop is done. Then again, it's back to that point of you're not leaving your house. Exactly. You've got to figure it out. It's like, you probably want to toast your grilled cheese. Exactly. Let's order it. And yeah. Let's make it. Uh, <laughs> and and, and that, that's where the, uh, the AI, even the, the recommendations and the pantry matching is completely driven by machine learning. Um, Ultra Connect is, a, is the best example of machine learning. All our recipes are driven by machine learning. So we don't put all the recipes on our platform. Uh, we do an extensive uh, pre-processing of which recipes should go on platform based on easy to cook, easy to use. Okay. Because we are not a recipe platform. So right. we only want to provide recipes which, I don't want to provide you a recipe which can take three hours to cook. Right, or maybe a certain skill level exactly, you have. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, Again, grilled cheese works just great. Exactly, <laughs> uh, and uh, so that's where, uh, you know, we, 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 we work with bloggers, uh, the Instagram bloggers, and we get their recipes on board. Okay. But we don't get all of them. So let's say one blogger has 1,000 recipes. We filter out most of it right. and put like 200, 300 on platform. And if I want to add my own recipe, can I do that too? Uh, we, we'll, we're launching that in the next one month, a okay. uh, couple months. Uh, so you'll be able to import your own recipe yeah. as well. Yeah, my crazy weird grilled cheese recipe that but again, that keep re alluding to. But again, that recipe will go through extensive pre-processing. Right. Oh, so it might not make it. <laughs> exactly. Aww. We'll talk after. Maybe yeah, you can push sure, it through. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so what, let's talk about launching and stuff like that. What, what's, where are you at in the state of like active you know, the company itself. Yeah. I mean, we are one of the highest rated apps on uh, App Store, You're Play going. Store. Oh yeah, we yeah, have. It's just going. Uh, we have a good number of users. Uh, so Ultra Connect's the secondary part of that, is what I'm saying? We are a product, it's a, it's, a, it's a product of shuffling. Right. Uh, which can go on any, you can pick any recipe, pass it through Ultra Connect, yep. and it'll become machine readable. Cool. Well, I really appreciate it. I, I'm going to check out the app as soon as we're done here and your booth. Sure. And we are also very famous on voice. So Alexa and Google Home. Actually, we were one of the first ones to launch on those platforms. Oh, that's great. In food and drink category. So we are a veteran there now. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense because it goes along with the like, hey, just help me figure this out. Exactly. Um, cool. So what's the websites and stuff? Uh, any people should go where they should check it out? You just search Shuffling. Just, just Google. Shuffling. Just Google the name. Just use Google. Just Google the Bro, name. Oh, it's on the internet. Uh, we are quite popular right now. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, I'm the one that didn't know it, so uh, I'm going to be Yeah, so on now. iOS, we are 4.8. Whoa, that's awesome, dude. And not on like two reviews, on 700 reviews. Yeah, oh, nice, dude. That's pretty good. Uh, on Play Store, we are almost 2,000 reviews, 4.6. This, these are good numbers. So, uh, well, it's because it's you're doing you're filling service what people want. Exactly. People want to get their food quickly. So one of the the most extensive used feature in our app is receipt scanning. Uh, that's one, again driven by AI. So how do you? A lot of people ask the question that how do you put items in your pantry? I and was going to ask that question. Yeah. So either you can do through voice, or we do recommendations. We recommend you items based on what you have done, or you can do barcode scanning, two million products or you can take a picture of any receipt from major retailers in US. We extract, reconstruct those items so that it matches your database. That's crazy. And we put in three seconds. Three to five seconds, it'll be in your pantry. That's nuts. That's the nuts, the most nuts thing you said so far, and that's really cool. Because again, I, this is just my own personal opinion, but voice is sometimes tricky. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't recognize it, you know, it's a whole process. True. If you can scan something and do it pretty quickly. True. Uh, and we, uh, there are some receipt uh, scanning companies which take like a day because they do it manually. Right. Uh, ours is completely driven by uh, natural language processing. So, awesome. So we do the reconstruction in less than three to five seconds. Uh, and the accuracy is pretty good. Uh, you can try it on your own. And that's one of the most used feature in our app. I would see, I would think so. I'm gonna give it a 4.8. I'm gonna give it a five. What am I doing? Sure. Yeah, exactly. Omar, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Uh, and go check out Chef on here, everybody. Thank you.